evening. Um, here I am on um, Stanage Edge in the Peak District, um, enjoying a nice sunset. Um, anyway, it's a lovely sunset. Um, I've been busy filming it and taking pictures and what have you. But um, anyway, I thought you might want to have a look at uh, a bivy I'm using at the minute. It's a Valdi Bivy One. And I'll um, give you a, a quick look at it. It's a handy shelter when the weather's nice. Um, not to say that you can't use it in poor weather, obviously, but um, the practicalities of using a bivy in poor weather can be um, troublesome to say the least. But um, it's been a beautiful day today. And um, yeah, so I'll show you the bivy and go have a look at it. So here we go, here we got a, a rear vent or a vent at the foot end of the, uh, the bivouac. Here we want to have a look. You can see the uh, mesh panel. And um, this is the interesting bit of the uh, the bivouac is um, the head end. As you can see, it's not sitting in your face basically when you're in it. If you're having to zip up, shut tight anyway, in poor weather, and you can see it's bloody rock solid, not going nowhere. But um, it gets plenty of room inside. You, I mean, it doesn't look it with this sleeping bag, but that's a it's a winter down bag. And you, uh, you know, I've got my crap there at the other end of the tent. But um, you can see there's a, another vent at the head end. I've opened up. I'll show you again in a second. And then there's another one here. And I've got the mesh panel zip shut on that at the minute. But um, you can actually open that, and so you can uh, peep out and see what's happening. There we go. That's the uh, head end from this angle, and there's the um, the other the other vent I was on about, which I've got propped open. And again, you can zip that shut if you need to as well. So it does create. Well, you've got the options of a lot of ventilation for this bivouac. Um, it's PU coated nylon, so it's not made of gore or Gore-Tex fabric or even. But um, yeah, you can get you can get me in it anyway in a winter down bag. It's quite high, so there's a you know, it does allow for that loft of a winter down bag. And, uh, well, yeah, I'll tell you more about it in my blog. Sorry for rambling, but um, I'm a bit tired from a long day's walking to get here. And my uh, brain's still buzzing from the uh, lovely weather and scenery that I was filming earlier. So, speak again soon. Bye.